One second, one second. Uh, this is the HP touchpad. We announced it a couple of days ago. It's uh, it's 9.7 inch display, 1024 by 768. Um, stereo speakers uh, powered by HP Beats audio, which is uh, basically an uncompromising music and multimedia experience. It's powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon dual core processor. So uh, with the Adreno graphics core, so really power pack. Couple of things, this is the WebOS. So two things that we do really well on WebOS. One of them is the multitasking. So each of these cards is a process in its own. And so I can switch easily from my photos to my email to my browser. And when I'm done with a, a with a task or an activity, I can just flip it away. So it's really visually brilliant, really intuitive multitasking that allows me to go from process to process on WebOS. And you can see the performance on uh, this big screen display is what makes it really uh, fun to work with. Let me talk a little bit about the email application with a larger workspace. This is all the email, my entire email view on this little device. Uh, on the left is kind of a billboard for Synergy, which is the service we use uh, to pull all the different sources from my web onto my touchpad. So I have my personal email, my work email here. This is the my familiar inbox view, and on the right is my preview for an email application. Now let's say I was in an email application and I wanted to really see this full screen. With one tap of the button, I can go to full screen, and just like that, I can switch back all the way, zoom out back into the entire uh, view of my email. So when I'm in this familiar view of the email and I want to, let's say I'm reading this email and I want to respond to it, I hit that. Um, the concept of multitasking is taken to the next level with stacking. What that means is it's not just a visual multitasking, I can also organize my work with this now. And again, the graphics performance and the WebOS performance is I this email that I created, I can put it as its own card. I can move it around, um, and while I'm working on this email, I could actually go back and go back to my inbox. This is something that most mobile, mobile OSs don't do today, uh, and it really helps you work the way you do. How many times do you start an email but don't complete it? You can do that on WebOS. I can have multiple, multiple open emails at the same time. Um, another thing I want to show on the, um, on the email application is the keyboard. You will notice that on this keyboard we have the number row, mm -hmm. which is really simple, but a lot of people don't do it today. It really makes it very simple. Now let's say I want to say let's meet at, and you saw that there was some text correction there very quickly, 7 to 8. PM. Now if I were typing it on a keyboard that didn't have the number row, I would be context switching all the time. The other thing we do is we allow you to resize the email, uh, the, the virtual keyboard in any view that you are in. So depending on your like and uh, what you want to, what you are working on, you could go all the way from extra small to large. And each of them is typeable, but it at least gives you the preference. Another very powerful concept in, in WebOS is the concept of notifications. So when I'm working on something, I don't want to be interrupted by new stuff coming in. So what notifications allow me to do is I can ignore them, or better yet, I can actually triage them right from here. So the notifications I don't really care about are gone. And the one that I care about, I can click on it, I can work on it, or I can ignore it and come back here. The other application that I want to show you is the is the photos application. You will notice very similar, uh, familiar paint kind of a panel kind of a layout. These are all the photo sources that I have. My touchpad, Facebook, other web services. I can go album to album here. Or I can go into an album and like a film strip, go and search for the email, for the photos in an album. So let's say I'm searching for uh, a photo. I don't have to go jump places to places. I just come to the, I, I can't, uh, I'm not letting that happen. Sorry. Um, you can take that. Um, um, sorry. So all my photos are here. 
I can go and I can click on one and it jumps right into it. And when I'm in a photograph, I can have the Facebook conversation on it. That's also completely integrated here. I can share this photo with people. I can actually print it right from here. I don't have a printer set up in this space, but so once you're in a photo, you can do a lot of different things with the photograph without having to switch context back and forth. The browser, it's a full browser. It's HTML5 uh, supporting web and flash. Let me try. So uh, we'll see how fast it loads because Go. my um, the the um, Wi-Fi here is really really slow. Oh yeah. I'm on Jagged Care too. Website that is so slow. No. <laughs> so let me. Uh, sucks. Yeah. So just let me show you one more thing here before. Uh, Can you zoom it? Yeah, like it's zoom it like that. Fast, oh, yeah. Very nice, yeah. very nice. So yeah. you also have this Palm Pre 3 over there, right? So this is the Palm Pre 3. This is uh, <coughs> this is the 8x55, 1.4 gigahertz, big display, uh, 3.6 inch wide VGA display. So it's twice the resolution of our previous product. The biggest keyboard we have on a WebOS product. So really heavy messaging users can use this product easily. And the big display allows you for, to have a great multimedia and a web experience. So it's really the best of both worlds. And it's a familiar interface, the same web OS running um, uh, with the cards and everything. Yeah. And one thing that we have done is we have something called Touchstone technology, right. which we had used previously for uh, wireless charging. But now what we are doing with it is in the second generation, we've added a data channel to it so you can actually share information between the devices okay. using Touchstone. Can you show so us? Let's, yeah. So let's say I had this web page open. Yeah. And I have done some work uh, on my touchpad, and now I have to go. Um, so all I do is I basically go and I touch that. Uh, and what happens is the browser loads here, and the same web page would get loaded onto my page. I screen. love it. So what we are showing today is really a transfer of the web pages. Yeah. But you can imagine that we will be building more and more on data it. applications. It. it could pictures, go on. Yeah, you know. we could go more and more on it, right? Very cool. And I, I, um, you can do the same one with this. Well, what's the name of this little boy so, again? So the little boy here is uh, the phone? HP Veer. It, oh, also yeah, right. has a, it also has a full <laughs> keyboard and there's a lot of engineering that actually went into making this keyboard. This is one of the best Very keyboards nice. you will find on a little form factor. I mean, if you want to try it out, if you want oh, to try man. it out printing, I mean, it, it really is. You know, it is extremely, extremely usable. Wow. Um, so a lot of engineering went into that. We know that one form factor doesn't fit all. So this really is a product for someone who wants all the features and functionality of a smartphone, uh, but not the bulk of it. So it's running 800 megahertz, uh, 7x30, yeah. and you can see all of our products are we 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 kind of like Works. make it like very slim, ergonomic design, easy on your hands, easy on your eyes, um, and things like, for example, cool. on this, we've done accents like metal buttons, uh, five megapixel camera, same thing as pre-3, five megapixel camera, capable of uh, shooting uh, HD, HD video, and on pre-3 and touchpad, we also have front-facing cameras for video calling. Great. So hey, all in job. all, all in all, yeah, three different products, all different sizes for different experiences, but running WebOS right. uh, and really easy to use. Just one last thing, I yeah. like to hold it. Okay, that feels pretty good. Yeah, don't shoot the back of it. Okay, I won't. Yeah. <laughs> so when do we get it? So uh, the Pre 3 and uh, and the uh, and the touchpad will be available in summer. In, this, in Europe. Yeah. What about the well, VR? Well, we don't know. We uh, we are not announcing the rollout of it yet. Okay. And what about the VR? And uh, the VR will be in early spring. Okay. Okay. And fantastic. Pricing Thank you for so the much. So we are not announcing pricing okay. on any of the three products. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.